himself devil <laughs> using a vortex uses them as his slaves what does he do with his souls he sends them to a place called hell no oh, wait that's that's someone else's story can't take it for myself And he calls himself the de devil. The devil. chalk upon the wall. Step two. Recite the words Anarthra and Thread. <laughs>
come to believe that the story of the devil is true. I have been to hell, but I am unable to close the door. I fear someone or something might come through. Mr. Whitman.
past you two. It's quite a long way, isn't it? Yeah, you know it is. How long you folks been trekking? Our entire lives. Why, hello there. Would you boys like some tea? I don't see any. That's cause there isn't any. Then why'd you offer it? Now where are you two off to? We're off to YouTube. Why, why would you want to go there? We love making motion pictures. So YouTube is where we'll get them seen. Why don't you tell me about your motion pictures inside of my lovely house? I don't see a house. That is because I do not have one. What's your name? Doubt. It is. What is? Doubt. What doubt? Your name. What is my name? Doubt. There's no point talking to him. Now what do you hope to find in YouTube? What? What do you hope to find? Well, we want to get our film shown. Shown? <laughs> what, YouTube? <laughs> well, that was pointless. You seem my friend. I haven't seen anyone in many, many years. What happened? I followed the path to, to YouTube, and I found myself alone. So you never found it? I was famous for many years, but with fame 
comes loneliness. Oh, I was trying to follow the path as well. One against you, don't. Uh, I have films that I want to show. Would you do me a favor? Um, what? Snap my neck for me. Why? I don't have anyone to love anymore. Yes, like that. Do that again. Done, man. You know, I've been I've thinking. I've been thinking. Oh. oh no, 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 you, you go first. You. you. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. I have to count of three at the same time, okay? Three, three two, two, one. Maybe, maybe we, we shouldn't should go to YouTube. Yeah. I just don't think going to YouTube's the best idea anymore. Yeah. I know. I was just thinking that too. So where else are we going to show our films? Well, you see us to pro. Here are the films. What did you do? I left it in the pub. What are our options? We, we can either go to YouTube without any films or turn back. Either way, we don't get what we want. Ugh! We're never gonna get a film shown. After everything we've been through. That's it. I am going to YouTube. I don't care if you're going or not. I am going. And I'm gonna make more films there. I don't know what to do, okay? We just lost our entire life's work. I don't know. I'm afraid and I'm cold and I don't know what to do. Start by going to YouTube.
end of a story. And you know what? Neither of them were ever seen again. Totalitarian leaders 
really bad now. Has it changed since? Not much. The old man that used to throw rocks at us, he, um, he passed away just last year. He got shot by the authorities. Remember that guy? Always sitting on the front porch and stuff. Well, there was a war actually recently. Um, there's a bunch of. Industry. Sometimes I wonder which is worse. Trust me. Industry is worse. It's done nothing but destroy our heritage. You haven't seen the places I've seen. I saw Vancouver, Tokyo, New York. <laughs> Moving forward. Maybe sometimes we should be able to choose. Maybe sometimes we never can. All we want is best. <laughs> And then they police everything we do. People of Elphia, we have decided to begin a revolution. A rebellion against the people who have kept us enslaved in this village. Today, we begin war! What are you doing? I'm doing what's right. You need to fight for equality. War is not the way to do that. You're fighting for the wrong thing. Yes, the leader needs to go, but... Fighting to get rid of the industry? More than they are. Is it okay? And the this is the same thing. You're fighting for two completely different reasons. All I want is to live like we used to. You want to go here? That's fine. But something. You've got to accept that. We are going to war. You can either join us. Or join them. I'm trying to of you. So what lesson were we supposed to learn from this? The government did was bad, but fighting back was the right thing to do. Kill anybody? And if we protested, then they would have killed all of us. I think the lesson to learn from this is there is no right way of doing it. I want to show you something. Drinking all night. Oh, is it warming already? 
Oh yeah, I have. You have got to stop doing this. You know, I'm thinking. You need to get a house. I'd have a house if, you know, you'd stop using my money on whatever it is you buy. I don't even know. I think we're just going to call it money well spent. Yeah, I mean, like, after that tornado, we, like, lost everything, man. Uncle Fred ever came home. You stop doing that. Doing what? You know, this. If there was still some in that one. Okay, so you stayed up drinking the whole night, and you're upset that I got rid of one? <laughs> oh, drinking? That is my least favorite thing to do. Doing the face again. What face would that be? Dude, I think I'm gonna do like my uh, stretch out my lottery. Dude, lottery tickets are just scams. Yeah, they kind of are scams. You know, if I do win, which is highly unlikely, but if I do, I'm gonna like buy a studio. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I want it because you know, does not know? A studio would be pretty cool. So far, our films kind of suck now. Mm -hmm. Don't put your hand in there. Do you know how many people piss in this? That explains why it's so warm. Yeah, I highly doubt I'm gonna win. Your chances are a million to one. Man, I just won! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna buy a studio! You're in juvie. You're lucky that I know a guy that knows another guy that knows a girl that knows a guy whose boyfriend to this other girl of a guy that knows a cop that told him you were in juvie. How many people do you know? Like, two. Well, we have your lottery ticket, honey. I hate you. Oh. <sighs> so, sorry if I wasted your money on fail. I don't want to hear it. Look at the bright side. Maybe you'll win a second lottery ticket. No. No, I'm not. Well, look at the bright side, though. A trailer, a bachelor pad for two? This is, this is some high-class shit. What did you even do to get into juvie anyway? Like, come on, seriously. Well, you know how there were some goats that were stolen from the farm up there? Yes. And how there was those... Fireworks up by Mount Seymour? Yes. And Victoria's Secret being robbed? Yes. Yeah, I don't like to talk about it. One day, you just need to grow up and get a life. Like you? Yes, exactly like me. I have a job, money, I'm a good businessman. Oh, I know you're a businessman. You hand out your card to everybody. I do not hand out my business card to everybody. You're right, not everyone, just the waitresses with your personal number on the back. Everyone knows that I am the good-looking one, and you are the pimp. Touché. Well, I did get a second lottery ticket. I mean, I doubt it's gonna win or... What? We won again. Alright, man, this time... We are buying studio for real. I can't believe I had to bail you out of juice again. I'm sorry. No. Ugh. You're impossible, you know that? Uh, okay. Some guy hit my car with his body. How exactly is this my fault? You hit someone with a car? I'm not sure you're listening to me. Okay, do you hit someone with a car? Yes or no? Yes. Twice. <sighs> Was it at least an idiot? Yeah. Okay, how are we gonna make this money back? Car wash. <laughs> This was a sunny event all evening. We made five bucks. I know, but... We had to strip, like, completely naked for those girls. I know. I know. Man, you've got a condition. I believe it's called herpes? Yes, it's called herpes. <sighs> no, don't touch anything! Oh, why? I have spent hours rearranging everything in this kitchen. The cutlery is in alphabetical order right now. 
Whoops. You drive me insane sometimes, you know that? Man, I just want that studio so badly. I know. I do too. Ma'am, what were you saying you're going to use the spatula for? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Very funny. Oh, you're serious. <sighs> if this is a studio, we could officially make our very own show, and we would officially call it The Alex Show, named after me, of course. Oh, yeah, named me after you. No, we're going to name it after me, The Carlton Show. Carl? I told you not to do that. Yeah. Hey, is, is that another Iodry ticket? Mm, oh yeah, I always keep a spare, just in case one's a winner. Pfft, that's gonna happen. I know, man. The chances of winning three in a row. What are the chance? Holy crap! Let me guess, you won. Again. Oh, yes! Oh, we did it! Yeah! Yes! yes! Mr. Santos, you have been put under suspect for the murder of Mr. Clint. Your Honor, sir, you have no proof that I had anything to do with the case. Will you plead not guilty? Yes, I do. I am a businessman, sir, and I assure you, I would never put my hand in foul play. Do you have an alibi? As a matter of fact, I do. It all started two years ago. Do you see this? This is our destiny. We're gonna be rich. I found gold. What's it? Dude, I found gold. Oh shit. We're gonna be rich. Let's go find a mine up there. My name is Tuco, 
For lack of better words, you could say I'm a mob tie. I do the boss's dirty work. The only problem is when your boss is a psychopath. Perhaps psychopath is an understatement. I'm your runner. I deliver the coke to the buyers. So, you think that you could just come over here and do your little running job without even fucking asking me first? Well, you asked me to come half an hour ago. Well, how awesome is that? Can <laughs> I sit down? Please, please sit down. So you see, I need you to make a run to a buyer. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, fucking pimp. Uh, uh, fucking. You mean Johnny Goldstein? You fucking correcting me? Yes. You see, this is why I like you, kid. Because you're fucking bad ass. Is it a dime, a nickel? Ah, oh, ten thousand fucking grams. This guy's fucking crazy. I can imagine. This teddy bear, 10,000 fucking grams. Great. You bring back 7 mil or I fucking fuck you. Can I sit down, please? This is the best we- Ah, oh, you can tell we're on a low budget. Ah. Oh. Hey, Dr. Gil. Hey, Joey, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. You see, a friend of mine has got fighters from Don, Don, Don! You mean that guy over there? Yeah. 
Let's see what we can do about this. Um, uh, stop! Wow. All right, now let's see. Actually, uh, I, I think you're feeling fine now. You, you, you don't need to do- So, this may hurt. Wow, uh, strange method, but okay. You don't have to jump. I do have to jump, Joey. I do have to jump. No, you don't. Goodbye, Joey. Uh, oh, I wonder what this is. No. Touch it. No. Touch it. No. Touch it. No. Touch it. No. Just freaking <laughs> oh. ah. hmm. Well, at least no one got hurt. Brownies. Oh. Hmm. Welcome everyone to the first annual fighting match. In the left corner, we have finger person number five. In the other left corner, we have the undefeated champion, even though this is the first match, Joey! The match, once again, begin! Oh. Yeah, what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? What you- Oh, uh, shit. Uh, can someone please tell me who won? I, I, I missed it. No, I can't reach my thumb high enough. Uh, what the hell? Uh, uh, hey, dude. just defending itself.
All children know of the man who lives on the moon, but only two have ever tried to actually get there. Bunch of war between two tribes. The Bahasweet tribe and the Mohawk tribe were in a war for the ownership of a sacred patch of land, which Drake Tinton tried to develop into towns for the malicious white skins who raided the First Nations land and called it their own. Now there was only two left. Who Bahasweet named after his tribe and a raven named after his spirit animal. Bahasweet got so furious of his family's death that he threw Raven off a cliff and swore vengeance on Drake Tintin and his family. Yes, yes. 
we are going to invade Fort Langley. Of course, it's that place near Squash and Bucklar. You know, that very strange city, yes. We are going to invade it to become rich of their resources. Once this has happened, the Spanish will rule all of Canada and we will buy it out. It is a perfect plan. Perfect plan indeed. He saw our entire conversation! Thanks for listening to the campfire.